Welcome back to White Mountains today. Now, it's been a couple years since I've had the pleasure of seeing Jack. Jack Wadsworth, welcome to the show and good morning to you. Well, thank you for having the Freiburg Fair on. Thanks for well, inviting me. Uh, absolutely. Well, I should say, we've had the Freiburg Fair on every year. It's just yes, I have. haven't seen you for a couple of years because right. they like to spread the wealth, should we yes, say. Yes, they, they do. They <laughs> send people early on Saturday morning, and this year, Jack's name was pulled. <laughs> that's right. So, Jack, you're part of the Finance Committee, but that's not where you started with your history. No, I started uh, in 1980 helping announce Woodsman's Field Day. And then in the early 80s, we started showing uh, Hereford cattle at the fair, and and we've just finished our show career there actually we've uh, moved on not going to have any more animals ourselves but uh, I've been on the finance committee for 10 years which uh, wow. uh, once uh, Dr. Huzzy uh, the mm -hmm. veterinarian here in town passed away then they searched for someone for the finance committee so I was fortunate to wow. be picked and it's uh, wonderful to be involved with the fair that way. It is and what is it about the Freiburg Fair? Obviously you could keep coming back year after year <laughs> What is it about the Freiburg Fair? Well, it's a pretty amazing place. We've, uh, this is our 166th Freiburg Fair, so we've amazing. been practicing for 165 years to <laughs> do it right. But we uh, put an awful lot of money back into the whole infrastructure mm -hmm. at the fair. That's and we talking, keep yeah. it up uh, beautifully. We have a wonderful crew that works all summer of about 25 employees and uh, they do a wonderful job with the fair. Well, we were talking off air about some of the changes that you've done, and it is true, you guys do a lot of, as far as improvement every year, you figure after 166 years that you can just like yeah, rest, <laughs> but you guys don't rest. Uh, you've done more for parking. Uh, we have done, earlier. yes, we, uh, last year we purchased 10 acres next to the fair, and we've turned that into a uh, exhibitor livestock parking mm -hmm. and also all those cattle trailers that bring all the cattle the horses and sheep and pigs to the fair we've made a new place to put those so it's allowed us to have more parking on the fairgrounds for our actual cars right for the exhibitors and yes. then also for the guests you've made a new restroom towards the first gate we did we've uh, built a state-of-the-art restroom if it can be called state-of-the-art but uh, <laughs> like, but it has mo here? mother's <laughs> lounges uh, <laughs> and uh, it's awesome. a huge restroom it's the first restroom room you run into as you right. come towards the fair from right. Freiburg and people, are people have been traveling for hours and that's the first thing they want so as soon as you pay through the gate you can run to the bathroom <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then for the animals also you had been mentioning that the draft horses when they go and get I forget the term for it when they get all buckled in they're antsy they're ready to go this is their job and before people had to try to hold them still until it was their turn you guys have addressed that. Exactly. We've uh, built a new exercise area for the draft horses. Uh, once the draft horses are hooked to their carts and wagons, uh, they've been having to try to hold them in place. And of course, they're all anxious to go. So we've made a huge exercise ring, and they can go out and have the animals awesome. moving. And uh, the announcer will bring them in across the track and to the show. Uh, in a timely yeah. manner and it's a whole lot safer for everybody. Well fantastic, so lots of improvements. Now let's get to the actual fair itself. If folks have not had a chance to get into the Freiburg Fair, what is your sort of 30,000 foot view down on the Freiburg Fair? How would you describe it? Well, um, Freiburg Fair does have a, a lot of people that stay right there. We have room for 3,500 campsites uh, we have campers of all sizes coming to the fair. Which are typically sold out, though. Like those, uh, it, we may have a few spots left yeah. in those 3,500 sites, yeah. but people start reserving those sites from May 15th on. They can right. call the fair. Uh, come to the fair early by 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning if you can, because it's on Route 5 uh, on the way from Freiburg to Lovell. So uh, traffic can get backed up, especially on a three-day weekend like we have coming up in a week from now. Right. Um, the fair is very popular. There is so much to see. Right. We're keeping the fair very heavy to agriculture. We Which have close to yeah. 4,000 animals if you count all the chickens, make, ducks, and that everything. That is my focus. I yeah. bring my boys over and that's what we go and look at. Right. You know, I love that. But it's uh, the animals, how many? Animals oh, it's close to 4,000 4, if you count everything. But we have about 450 registered beef cattle that we'll be showing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're there all week from Sunday to Sunday. Uh, we also have 450 registered dairy cattle that are there the whole week and a, a swine barn, yeah, uh, oxen barn. as well. 
Uh, yes, there's, it you is. Know, chickens hatching from eggs <laughs> and all the cool stuff that can inspire some folks. You have 4-H is uh, heavily involved as well. It is. Um, 4-H will be doing a lot of their shows a week from today and mm -hmm. tomorrow. Um, we have uh, 53 uh, market steers that mm -hmm. the children will be bringing in and they use that income to help the, uh, their way through college as wow. well as uh, look at sheep yeah. and uh, people raise lambs and there's um, competition for lambs for right. the 4-H competition for pigs and for uh, market steers, heifers, Wonderful. you name it. There's a lot of a lot of young people get a good start with animals. That is fantastic. Animals. There's a lot of great programs in the area for that. And depending on the town, they have different focuses, correct? Like some 4-H's have an animal component, some have more of a craft component. Um, so you can check with your local town if you're interested in the 4-H. That is um, correct. Or come to the Freiburg Fair because you can talk, which is, I always thought, a great time at the Freiburg Fair is getting to meet the folks that really devote their lives to what they're doing, uh, whether it's animals or craft. That's right. You can. Uh, there's livestock offices around, or the 4-H office, a huge building for 4-H, and there's a lot of gals in there that can help you out Absolutely. and give you information about who is running different clubs around the state. Okay. And let's get to some days and events. We have Woodsman's Day Woods coming up, which is typically on Monday. It is Monday, yes. This is our 49th Woodsman's Day, so another year we're going to celebrate 50 years of Woodsman's Field Days. Uh, this is a large draw for a uh, Monday. Um, like I mentioned, it's been going on 50 years. We have 141 competitors on the track to do either axe throwing, <laughs> cross cut <laughs> saw, or right. uh, standing block chop. There's just so much to see. And we have uh, tree felling, and then we have events on the uh, springboard chop where the guys That's stand so cool, yeah. nine feet in the air and have to chop off a 10 inch round. Uh, block on the top of that and that can be done in like 38 seconds. That is crazy. They yes. must practice. I know there's a, is a skillet toss on Monday or is that later? Skillet in the toss is, Monday, is and, Monday and now we've added something for the men to do. They're having a uh, anvil toss. The anvil <laughs> weighs 18 pounds and three quarters. The skillet weighs four and a half pounds. Yeah. So uh, wow. anybody can throw the skillet. Uh, accuracy is important. Well, I was just going to say there's <laughs> skill involved though. A little bit. I mean you can throw it straight up if you don't let go <laughs> soon enough. So that's I'm what sure that's happened. It's my wife. <laughs> so. I'm sure she loves that you told everyone. <laughs> That's She's right. Like my crowning moment. <laughs> Ooh, boink. Um, but there are some people that have super skill. There's technique. They practice. And w do they win a prize? I mean, what's the or is it just bragging rights? Uh, yeah, pretty much bragging yeah. rights and a trophy. Oh, sure. Right. Awesome. Uh, actually, uh, uh, last year we had quite a run in the office there after the skillet throw because. Everybody wanted to know how much does that skillet weigh. They wanted a blacksmith to make them one. Oh my and gosh! So, yes. Oh yeah. So <laughs> they want to practice during <laughs> that the year. That is so fun. Yeah. So the anvil toss. How do folks, uh, if guys want to get in on that, how they do that? Well, they can sign up in the livestock office okay. at the fairgrounds, and so they just come in and sign a paper up until uh, probably about ten o'clock Monday. So right. Sunday would be the big day to sign up, and, okay, and good. the guys too get ahead of it. So. Yeah, we're watching video of it now. So that's Monday, Woodsman's Day. Lots going on. It's an incredibly busy day at the fair. It is. A lot of fun. Uh, tell me about a couple of events throughout the week that you in particular are looking forward to. Well, tomorrow is uh, locally it's very important. It's the uh, fireman's muster and there's a ah, lot of competition yeah. between all the fire departments in uh, quite a wide area around here. Uh, probably like 20 or 30 towns of firemen come in and they have a lot of events that they have to do, and, and that starts in the morning around 9 o'clock and will run at least through lunch. So I imagine so. Uh, dragging hose, carrying hose, that sort of thing, yeah. races. Oh, sure. You um, know, try, they'll start the water and somebody at the other end is trying to put the nozzle on, oh and if the gosh. water gets there too fast, you're out. That's you know. exciting. It so is. That it's fun to watch. You said 9 o'clock or 10? Or around. Nine, well, should start at 9 tomorrow at morning. At 9 tomorrow, okay. Yes. So we'll have to look at the website too to confirm that. Um, yes. But as you, you brought a huge list, um, and some of it is displayed on the screen, but so much to do and so many varieties of activities. And this is, I think we've mo mostly listed the agricultural side of things, the music side of things, the craft side of things. But if you like the straight fair experience as far as you guys have a midway with rides, huge. with the food, 
French fries, blue meaning onions, the fried dough. We do. Dough, um, <laughs> we have a whole food pavilion building that we built several years ago, and that's for local artisans. Uh, you can buy moxie jelly or maple syrup. You can buy anything in that building. So tasty. And it's built, so it's hungry. made locally here. And uh, that's been a great addition to the fair. And of course, all the crafts we have, people uh, have been gearing up for all, all year. year. Uh, there's a four quilt. Year only. They've yeah. been baking <laughs> dog treats that's for right. a week. And uh, the, we have a quilt lady there in the uh, Arts and Crafts Center, and, and she gets her orders for the whole next year, and wow. she sells um, a lot of uh, quilts right there, and she's become very popular. I'll have to uh, go she's check that been out. there for like 25 years, wow. and has, she's become a mainstay for a lot of people. And do you know the business name so folks can? Do you remember? I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, that's right. We might circle back and might come to you, but I also wanted to point out there's really cool stuff too. If you're looking to furnish your house, I've seen like a rough hewn furniture that is gorgeous uh, that you can order for your home. There's of course, you know, the art, the paintings, uh, the craft work, pies. You know, I don't know a lot why of I keep going back to food, but the pies. <laughs> right. Mm. Well, a lot of people actually come to the fair and they start their Christmas shopping at the fair because there is so many things like knickknacks for yeah. snowmobiles it's or anything you're that you're find, yeah. anything that you're involved with mm -hmm. uh, that you like as a hobby. You'll find something there to your liking, and there's other things that uh, for the home, like you right. mentioned furniture or whatever, yeah. uh, they you know, the commercial, geothermal stuff, they and do. solar. We, ha and we have Energy Row mm -hmm. now and that's been going and building for several years. We have guys there with, uh, you know, energy, right. uh, new, so, new right. stoves or whatever. And they have the whatever. information if you want to get hands on with it too. Yeah. Some, some of this technology you can look online. It's just not the same as talking to someone and actually answer or asking the questions that you want about a particular technology like a solar panel or you know geothermal or the stoves as you mentioned. That's um, so right. So it's a good resource. And we have a, a huge museum there that's run by Ed and Diane Jones from Freiburg. They've been running that department for years. They have around 50 people that are doing wow. demonstrations at that place. We also have History Hall which uh, it shows the history of the fair and everyone that's been involved and been important to the building of the fair for the last 166 years. All right, so I have, I'm gonna put you on the spot here, Jack. If they have one thing, one thing that they, you would recommend, and this could be a personal favorite, what would it be? What oh, like? of course, well, what you Woodsman's for? Field Day would yeah. be okay. a lot of fun for me where Good. I'm a consulting forester. Yeah, but, okay. um, you know, just walking around the fair, if you go through the cattle barns, you'll see that a lot of people have made great exhibits. Their, their exhibits are supposed to be educational. Mm -hmm. And uh, just today, driving out of the fairgrounds, I noticed that uh, one of the cattle exhibitors by his trailer, he's just done a wonderful job with a fall scene with oh. hay bales and everything. So there's a lot to see everywhere. Wonderful. Well, yeah. Jack, it's always a pleasure uh, to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, and uh, folks, if you want more information, it's Freiburg Fair, is it dot com? Dot org. Dot org, excuse me. Yes. So Freiburg Fair dot org is a place where you can get the full lineup, the full history, 166 years worth. Well, Jack, thank you again. Thank you very much. Yes, Appreciate it was always it. <laughs> great to see you. All right, folks, we'll be back. And don't forget, Freiburg Fair starts tomorrow. If you want to go, go early, stay all day. And you can get multi-day passes. You're going to get a pass for the week or a yes. day pass as well. So whatever you can uh, get through. And is Freiburg all school? Are they all off all week, or is it just for Woodsman's Day? Do you know? No, usually Friday is uh, like a parents' teachers' conference oh, in the local good. area. I'm not sure about yeah. Freiburg itself, but yeah, I think yeah, Friday. Friday is sort of international holiday for kids. Yeah, what, well, yeah. <laughs> and that's Monday great. is an international holiday for loggers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, you can spread it at the Freiburg Fair this coming week. All right, we'll be back. We have more information about the fair, of course, and we're going to take another look at the weather forecast. So don't go away.